In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some basic pattern motions. This is based on the Alpha 1 version of Zemo, released in early April 2016. First, what you can do is you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out or rotate around. And notice that the robot remains at the center of your field of view at all times. This thing in the back is called the harness, and it allows you to raise and lower the robot. Many of the positions that we'll create are first designed in the harness, and then we drop the robot down to the floor and test them on the ground where gravity has its full effect. So for this pattern, I'm going to create an arms swinging movement. So I'll open up the pattern control here. There's a list of patterns. I'm going to click here for a new behavior. I'll edit the name and call it arm swing. And then click the check mark. That'll save the pattern. I'm going to open the pattern editor at the bottom of the screen. And this will allow me to create multiple steps in a pattern and then play through that pattern. So let's have a look. In the first step, which is right here, the robot is standing straight up. We're going to click in the middle of the timeline and we're going to add a new position here by clicking plus. And we're going to adjust the arms so that they're in a different position. For that, I click on this icon to open up the joint editor. I'll click on the right arm of the robot, which is on my left, and move the X forward to move the arm up. Click on the other joint, move the X slider back to move the arm back. That's now position number two. Let's add, click on the timeline again, add another position, position number three. And this time I'm going to move the joints in the other direction. There we go. That's position three. Now I can drag on these positions to change where they are in the timeline. And then finally start with position one and then click the play button. And you'll see the arms are swinging. Now if I want that motion to repeat over and over, I click on this icon, which is the loop icon. Let's click on play again. And now we can see that the arms are swinging back and forth. You'll also notice there's some movement in the robot's upper body. That's due to the momentum of the arms swinging back and forth. And it's another way you can see that this physics simulation is running. Now, this might be a little bit fast. If we want to slow it down, I'll stop it here, put it in position one. And I'm going to change this number over on the right, which is the period of the motion. So this is how long it takes the motion to run from the first to the last step. And I'm going to change that to three for three seconds and then play it back again. And you'll see this time the motion's a lot slower. Now let's say we decided in this motion of swinging arms that we also wanted to bend the elbows. I'll stop the pattern playback. I'll click on position two. And here what I'll do is I'll just click on the elbow. I'll give it a little bit of a bend. I'll click on the other elbow, give it a little bit of a bend. And now come back and play the pattern. So there we can see they're bending in one direction. If I want them to bend in step number three as well, I can do that. Let's go back to number three here and click. And this time I'm going to click on both elbows at the same time and just move the slide over once and they both bend together. So let's have a look at the final motion. So we have sort of a natural arm swinging motion that we've created. That's it for this very simple pattern. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to create a squatting movement, which also takes into account the balancing of the robot. If you want to try this yourself, you can download this alpha version of the Zemo game at www.zemo.io.